Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Lagrange Multipliers method, method to method of groupings. The first order linear partial differential equation of the form PP QQ is equal to R, where PQR are the functions of XYZ, then it is called as Lagrange linear equations. All the basics we have seen in the first part of the video. So, from the Lagrange equation, we have to make the auxiliary equation by finding capital P, Q and R. The working rule is first write the auxiliary equation or the subsidiary equation. Step 2, solving the subsidiary equation will be getting two solutions U and V. The general solution is F of U, V is equal to 0. The subsidiary equation can be solved in two methods. One is method of grouping, the other one is method of multipliers. In the previous video, we see how to solve problem using method of grouping. When method of grouping get fails, we are going for the method of multipliers. So, just a quick recap, what is method of grouping? I will give an example. Suppose you are getting dx by yz, dy by xz, dz by xy. Now, as usual, we take this two equation. When we try to simplify the dx by yz is equal to dy by xz, I can cancel zz and I will write x into dx is equal to y into dy. I can group x and y. If it is possible, then I can use the method of grouping. But suppose now the situation is like this x into y minus z, dy by y into z minus x, dz by z into x minus y. Now, if you take this any two equations, I cannot split dx into some terms of x is equal to dy into terms of x. In this situation, my method of grouping get failed. Then we are moving for method of multipliers. What we are doing here? You take the subsidy equation. In this method, what we are going to do? I am going to multiply and divide by L and M and N respectively, where L, M, N are my multipliers. If you do this, then adding the numerator and denominator, we will be getting L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z L P plus M Q plus N R. Now we have to choose the L M N in a wise way such that my denominator value get zero. If this is getting zero, then I can say L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z is equal to zero. If L D X plus M D Y plus N D Z is the exact differential, then integrating this, I will be getting the answer U. Similarly, we have to choose some other L, M, N values such that again this LP plus MQ plus NR will become 0, then I can find V. If you find both U and V, then the general solution is F of U comma V equal to 0. Done. Now, let us go into the problem. Before going into the problem, I just give some hints. Mostly, the multipliers may be 1, 1, 1 or x, y, z or 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z or some numbers l, comma, m, comma, n. And I am not saying this is the only multipliers. These are all some common multipliers which may be helpful to find at least one of the solutions. Okay, let us go into the problem. I said repeatedly in this unit, they don't mention any method. The question only given to us, we have to solve. To check it is Lagrange, we have to check it is in the form PPQQ is equal to R and also it involves X, Y, Z, P, Q, all the elements. Now, if something is in denominator, it is very tough for me to evaluate. But you can see the pattern in the denominator. First term, Y, Z, X missing. Second term, Z, X, Y missing. Third term, X, Y, Z missing. So, better if I multiply by X, Y, Z on both sides, my problem will be much simplified. Now, if you multiply X, Y, Z on both sides, you will be getting the simplified version. X into Y minus Z into P plus Y into Z minus X into Q is equal to Z into X minus Y. Now, this is little better compared to this equation. Now, it is of the Lagrange form C, capital P, small p, capital Q, small q, capital R. Now, write the auxiliary equation. We identify that capital P, Q, R. The auxiliary equation is dx by capital P, dy by capital Q, dz by capital R. R. Therefore, I write my auxiliary equation. 
Now, what is the problem here? As I said, it cannot be grouped because see the first value, the denominator involves all x, y, z with plus minus. Similarly, the second one. Similarly, the third one. So, everything is involving x, y, z with some subtraction or addition. So, it cannot be grouped. So, in this situation, we have to go for multiplier. Now, you keenly observe the denominator x into y minus z, y into z minus x, z into x minus y. Simplify this, we will be getting xy minus xz, yz minus xy, zx minus zy. If you just add this, xy, xy cancel, yz, yz cancel, xz, xz cancel. So, simply adding the denominator without doing anything, I am getting 0. So, as I said, the multipliers can be 1, 1, 1, x, y, z, 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z or some number L, M, N. First, we have to try and we can find at least one of the solution from this. Now, just adding the denominator and numerator, I can see I will get 0. Okay, don't go for the school basic like anything by 0 is infinity. This is the ratio. So, if my denominator is 0, obviously my numerator is also equal to 0. Now, just adding this numerator and denominator, there is one possibility that my denominator gets 0. Therefore, I conclude dx plus dy plus dz equal to 0. Integrating this, integral dx, integral dy, integral dz equal to 0. Therefore, x plus y plus z equal to c1. Immediately, I write this as my solution 1, that is u. You can see the typed version. Now, we have to think what else make the denominator 0. Next, we have to find the v. Just see the auxiliary equation. I am going to observe that this x, y, z, suppose if it is go to numerator, then my denominator will have only y minus z, z minus x, x minus y. If I add my denominator y minus z plus z minus x plus x minus y, I can see this is getting cancelled. y, y get cancelled, z, z get cancelled and x, x get cancelled, I will get 0. So, now simply I am telling my multipliers are 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z. This plays the key role. So, just you think how to make the denominator 0. So, don't want to confuse much. Student. Just make the denominator 0. So, I can equate the numerator to 0 and I can find the solution. Now, you see my denominator will become 0. Therefore, the numerator is also 0. Integrating this, we will be getting integral dx by x plus integral dy by y plus integral dz by z equal to 0. We know integration of dx by x is log x plus log y plus log z. Since the problem is getting log, I am writing the constant as log c2. Nothing wrong in it. Instead of writing c2, for simplicity, I am writing log c2. We know log a plus log b is simply log ab. Now, we have three elements here. So, log x, y, z is equal to log c2. Now, log log will get cancelled. We will be getting x, y, z equal to c2. For this simplicity, I am just taking it as log c2. Now, x, y, z is equal to c2. Then, immediately write the solution v as c2. That is, v equal to x, y, z. Therefore, the general solution is f of u, comma v equal to 0 my u is x plus y plus z, my v is x, y, z that is equal to 0. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.